Hi everyone. I thought it time to do the newsletter and to speak to you, all of you in your homes. I hope everyone that I know and who have read for that you're all safe and that all of your family is well. I pray for each one of you. This is a time of great fear, but as Houdini said, my main objective in life is to conquer fear. And so, how do we conquer fear? We conquer fear by dwelling upon love. I know it's not, doesn't seem like a practical thing to do, but it's the only thing we can do. I have known for quite some time. In fact, I would say one of the reasons we moved from the city to Sedona over almost 30 years ago had to do with my instinct that something on a magnitude as we're seeing was going to happen. Back then I had not gone into the work, but I just had an instinct and so we looked for a place like Sedona and Sedona jumped out at me and here we landed. I'm very fortunate to be in a beautiful place at this time. How do we get through this? How do we conquer our fears? First, we really need to look at what is our faith and whatever your faith, I don't care what it is, whatever your faith, you must focus on this. This is also a perfect time and I believe it's why we have been led to this time to look within ourselves, to look at our relationships, to look between and at each other is the time to be with one another. It is time to tell the stories that we've never told. There are times to hash things out that need to be hashed out that have been sitting there festering. It's time to play to create. The universe in some ways has given humans a gift. Yeah, a gift in giving us time. In symbology, the divine goddess Kali, she is black-skinned, and in most depictions, it has her sticking her tongue out. <sighs> they call her the destroyer, but she is really not the destroyer. She symbolizes time. And I see Kali as the one who cleans up, who makes everything right again. I think this is what we're looking at. This is what the symbol they have talked about in all cases like this over the years. She sometimes is called the goddess of death, but she is not. She is one of the most compassionate of her children, which is all of mankind, because she is making sure that everything is clean and everything is made right for her children. And as all of us know, things have not been running in society the way we would wish. As my husband said, well, no more mass shootings. And as we are in our homes, let us go back 
to love. And for many, I know, in speaking to so many people, we don't sit around the table anymore. Sit around the table. Talk about things that are important to you. Get to know each other once again. Make this time a time to correct things and to create things. Because when we're on the other side of this, which I sense is going to be a little longer than the most of us want, things will be different. Everything in our life will be different. And so we're going to, together, all of us, recreate. And that's what the Kali also represents. She represents rebirth and recreating so that the Divine Feminine can come in and create wisdom for us all, give wisdom to all of us. And the Divine works in circles. It works in community. This is what I foresee we're going to have to do. Rely upon one another, rely upon each other in our families and other families as we begin to take care of ourselves. That means in inside us taking care of ourselves as well as taking care of ourselves as our families. Because ultimately the buck stops here. Conquering our fear by taking the time to think about what love really is all about and to reaching out to one another as we go through this time of the unknown. And when we come out, it's going to be a time of the unknown as well. Finally, I'd like to read to you from a quote from Into the Nemesis, if my old eyes can read it. Like a tornado swirling around you, you are in the eye of the storm. A front row seat to the destruction of everything you work so hard to build. But like all tornadoes, the rain, the hail, and the winds will calm. The pieces that remain from the destruction of your former self will soon dissolve and you will find that only things that were destroyed were illusion. The attachments allowing for you to rebuild a newer and stronger and more mature and spiritually evolved you that you didn't even know exist, existed. So have faith. This, too, shall pass. Remember to stay calm, wash your hands, and stay at home and have faith because this too shall pass. Let us look within ourselves. This is now the time. I hold hope in my heart for all of you. Mm -hmm.